Good day and welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we'll be unlocking this Townie Go E-Bike with the old Bosch Gen 3 motor. To start, it's going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to remove this cover here to get access to the motor plugs. Okay, step one, we're going to get our T20 Torx. I'm going to remove this belt here. And then also this one here. Once they're loose, you can pull the cover. They're quite long. Okay. You need to remove the four pin connector and the two pin with the gray plug. You can see here this bike has three two pins. Pull out another one to show you. This is the black plug. We don't want that one. We want the gray. The other one is the blue plug, we don't want that one either. Now we get ourselves our E plus chip, get our quick connectors, we grab the four pin with the pin sticking out, put our quick connector on there. Do the same with the two pin with the pin sticking out. Then we grab the motor plug, the two pin, we'll connect that up. Push them together carefully. You want the white to match the red and the black to match the black. Same with the four pin. Okay, do you want the yellow to match the yellow? Green to green, black to black and red to red. Then you simply plug the connectors off the chip into the motor. They only go one way, so you can't get them wrong. Just don't push too hard if it doesn't feel like it's going in properly. Okay, once you've got them connected, you can do a quick test. We put the chip up here. Now we'll turn on the bike. See both lights on the chip light up. We then press the walk button. Just the red light flashes. This means the chip's activated and the unlock is active. On this particular model, there's plenty of room. So you can tuck your chip up here above the motor. Tuck the, just tuck the plugs wherever you can fit them. Then you can put your cover back on. Next step is to put the screws back in. Okay. Just put the cover on, you should Make sure it's clipped in at the front here, pinch it together. You may have to jiggle this screw through quite a long way till you get to the other side of the cover that it has to fix to. You'll feel it tighten up as you get some grip. Don't screw these too tight because they're only going into plastic. And there you go. Once you got them screwed in, you're good to go. Okay, now we've got the chip installed, we'll turn on the Purion display. We can unlock by pressing the warp button. Now you'll notice on here we got 2.2 on the display. That indicates it's now unlocked. And then we can also turn the unlock off by pressing the walk button. Now it shows 1.1, so we're back to standard. 